Food allergies are increasing and they can range from being very mild problems to really severe life-threatening problems that do cause uh, deaths unfortunately on occasion. And it's important to identify what you're allergic to food-wise so that you can identify it. Also, once the foods are identified and you're trying to do your very best to avoid exposure to those foods, every once in a while there could be a, an accidental exposure and for that you have to be prepared if you are prone to having uh, life-threatening reactions and that includes use of auto-injectable epinephrine. For instance, if people go out into restaurants you have sometimes no idea what's going on back in the kitchen and you have to be prepared uh, in case there's an accidental exposure to a food to treat it immediately. Food allergy testing can be performed by doing allergy skin testing which takes about 20 minutes but also blood tests uh, can uh, be used and there are often many more uh, foods available for allergy testing by blood test than could be tested for in a typical allergist's office. People develop food allergies to proteins and the proteins that seem to be bothersome to the immune system more commonly include uh, foods such as cow's milk, uh, eggs, tree nuts, peanuts, which are different, uh, seafood, and the protein exposure in those foods is what causes the allergic reaction. Red meat can cause allergies, and there's a um, new type of a problem that's been identified over the last several years called alpha-gal sensitivity. Usually, if you eat a food, you have a problem within an hour or so. With alpha-gal red meat sensitivity, which could be against beef, pork, uh, veal, uh, any type of red meat, the reaction can be delayed for up to four to six hours. And that's because the uh, problem uh, in the red meat is a combination of, if you will, a starch and a protein together.